Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at something pretty special. This is my autographed General Lee from the Dukes of Hazard, And of course, the General Lee is a 1969 Dodge Charger. This is a 1 18th scale die cast from Auto World. It's part of their Silver Screen Machines collection. And it's an officially licensed product of Dodge. This is a super detailed model. It's got several opening and movable parts, and it's crazy detailed inside and out. This is the description on the back of the box. You can pause the video here if you wanna take a look at it. Now, like I said, this car is very detailed. I've taken some pictures of the car, and it's so detailed that if it wasn't for the background, it looks like a real car. It's crazy how realistic this thing looks on the inside, all the way down to the floor mats and the carpeted floor. Now, as detailed as it is, I did notice some inaccuracies with it. First off, the real General Lee is a three-speed automatic, and this is obviously a stick shift. Second, the CB radio is missing. And lastly, on the real General Lee, the doors don't open, but the doors do open on this. Now that's just been a little nitpicky. Like I said, overall, great car. Even the steering works on this thing. Here's a shot of the row bar inside. And under the hood is no less detailed with its four barrel 426 Hemi V8. You can even see individual spark plug wires going to the distributor. If you look closely, it even has warning stickers like the warning sticker next to the radiator that says it's under pressure and is hot. And underneath the car is just as detailed. Now, my wife and I both grew up watching the Dukes of Hazard. As kids, we were both huge fans. So a few years back, we had the opportunity to go to the last big Dukes of Hazard convention. This was called Cooter's Last Stand. It was held at Cooter's Place at LeRae, Virginia. If you're a fan of the show, it's a must-see place. We had a two-day pass and they were thousands of people in attendance. I'm not sure the exact number, but there were at least 100 General Lees there. We even got to see this General Lee do a stunt jump. I was able to get most of the cast that's still alive to sign my General Lee. In addition to signing the General Lee, my wife and I had our pictures made with the actors who played Bo, Luke, Enos, and Cletus. Now looking back, I think we were a little nuts. On the first day there, it was hot, it was humid, it was muddy, but that didn't stop us. No, no, no. We stood in line for more than eight hours to meet John Schneider, the actor who plays as Bo Duke. My wife had hung on to a childhood t-shirt of Bo Duke, and she managed to get John Schneider to sign it. Now for me, Roscoe Pico Train, he was my favorite. But unfortunately, James Best has passed away. But his wife Dorothy was at the convention, and I got her to sign this re-election poster. Anyway, let's get back to the car. Here's some more angles showing the car along with the autographs. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It just helps this video get out to other people. Also, if you want to see more of my diecast collection along with unboxings, then consider hitting the subscribe button. I typically do two or three videos every weekend. Did I mention how much I like this car? I really do. This has got to be my favorite diecast car in my collection. Here's a last look at the car, but before you go, stick around. I've got a couple pictures that I would like to show you before you leave. These pictures are from our drive to Luray, and it was absolutely beautiful. We drove a couple hours on the Blue Ridge Parkway, and if you've never driven on the Blue Ridge Parkway, it's got to be something that you do at some point, at least for an hour or so. Some of the views are just absolutely amazing. Thanks for hanging around to the end and I'll see you in the next video.